basically this, I'm going to show you how to build one of these. Grow light setup. Show you how to build your own. That um, It's a take apart one. You can store away. Everything comes apart and stores away real nice. The only thing that stays together in one shot is the light assembly. That's the only thing that, that stays together. And But I think everything else comes apart so you can store it in your garage, under your bed, in your neighbor's house, you know, in your back seat of your car, whatever you want to do. And uh, basically, um, there you go. It's adjustable. It's three light. It's a three light assembly here. If I show you here, if I tilt this, see, holds it's three lights assembly. I did that that way so that I can turn these like this, like this. Put more of these in here in case I want. I want to grow more plants. So it's, it's expandable. And that's, that's what this is for. So to show you, you can do it yourself. It took me about four hours, four or five hours, because I'm going. I'm doing this as I, there's a certain amount of plans when I started, but I just go as I change it as I go. Like I originally started with a smaller chain, I want a bigger chain. I'm getting a bigger chain for it, but I'll show you how to do all this stuff in the eye bolts and everything else. So, but basically, it's about a five-hour job, and it's about uh, the lights were about fifty bucks, about six seventeen dollars a piece. That's as cheap as we can get them around here for lights with the shields on them, and uh, um, seventeen dollars a piece. The board was free. I found it outside. Um, the, the pipe, the two 10 foot pieces of pipe, uh, inch and a half pipe, were like uh, $3.20 $3 a piece. These connectors, all together, they're about maybe total, maybe uh, $8 for all the connectors. The, the two T's, the four end caps, the two elbows, it was about $8 or so. The eye bolts for here and there were about um, 50 cents a piece. And the chain, come with the lights. I just doubled it up. You can use that if you want to, but I want something heavy. This is pretty, pretty strong. I can't pull it apart, but I still want something heavier. But um, all together, what, 50, 58, um, 65, 65, not including the bulbs, $65. We got the bulbs are the cheapest things. They're $2 for a, a set. Um, so 50, $60. Figure about uh, 65, about 65 to 70 bucks max for this setup. And you get, it's, it's expandable. And that's about it. And like I'll explain later on in the tape, that you see this little uh, counterweight here. Because I'm pivoting off these two eye bolts, and you got cords hanging here. It depends on where the cords are. The cords are plugged in, it'll hold it, you know what I see? But all the cords I've got going off towards the back, because that's where the outlet strips at. These are going to be on timers. So it, of course, is going to pull it off. You can run a double tube if you want and do what you want for that. But this, me, all I do is put something here like this. And it levels it right off. It counteracts, counteracts the cords going off to the side. But see, I'm going to tie the cords up with a tie strap up like this. See, so they'll be they'll be loose and they can go all the way down. So you can move it up and down. I don't know if you can see it, but they'll be tied up like this. So that'll help mediate it. But don't hurt me on that. This works just as just as well. So, or maybe I'll throw my shoe up there. Whatever. So here we go. Here goes the video how to do it. I'll show you how to build it yourself. I mean, you'll be able to do it faster because I went through all the mistakes and trial and errors and everything else to make this. So, have fun watching and hopefully build it yourself. Maybe you'll modify it and you'll add to the, you'll add something to the um, comment section. Tell me what I could have and what else I could have did besides this. But that's it. Here's the three light setup I'm using: three 48 inch um, fluorescent um, light fixtures that uh, I got from our local store that could take either a T8 or a T12 bulb and it's set up, I got three of them instead of two like you standardly see on on here is because I can either run these standard planting trays two of them like this two of them like that see like that or if I decide to, ex and they're covered by the light or if I decide to go with more seeds I can run four of these like this, and they'll, be, they'll get their light coverage. Of course, I'll spread the lights out a little further. I'm just laying them out here, but you see I'll be able to get four of these in there, too. So this is an expandable light system. If I would have just put two lights, like a lot of people show you, or only one light, then you're, you're limited to what you can use it for. I can put either four on here or two, depending on what I want to do for grow for um, these seed trays. So it leaves more options to doing that. So this is the, this is the setup for the the lights. They're just standard cheap lights you buy wherever you get them. Of course around here where we live they're not so cheap. 
people say you can get them for nine dollars a piece well the nine dollar piece ones don't have these shields where the bulbs are encased a lot of them are the bulbs are exposed and therefore the light goes all over the place you want something you want these with the with the shields on the side so it directs the light downward and now what I'm going to do next I'm going to get a board half inch piece of plywood I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to screw all three of these to a one board so they're one assembly okay they'll all be tied together and it'll be spaced a certain so they they're wide enough apart for them 20 inch trays I was showing you they're uh, 10 by 20s but they're little they're they're 11 by these are 11 by 21 somewhere around that but that's all set up for and I'll screw these down to the board so they're all one entity and that'll be my next stage for this screw these things down okay so that's it okay now to determine my board size that I need for under here now it depends on the width of your um, fixtures on how you're going to do it but mine turns out to be from this outside edge and outside edge 21 inches of course on both ends 21 inches like this and of course you know these are 48 but 21 inches and then for the center one I've got the gaps set at an inch between each plastic end piece here inch and an eighth between each two to make it spaced that's my spacing for my size lamps your your lamps might be a little wider or narrow or whatever so you have to base it but I basically have it 21 inches wide because I want to make sure that it's wide enough to allow for the light span on these seed trays so that they're covered to be drenched in light so there won't be an overhang or what overhang will be just a plastic it won't be no big deal so that's why I got it set up like that so it's perfect like that that's all I have it and um, um, so that's my setup. So now I'm going to go find a board. My board side is going to be is 19 inches by 53 inches because I want a two-inch overhang on here on each end, and that's so that let's pretend there's a plywood piece of plywood. These are mounted to a piece of plywood, all one piece. The plywood will come out to about here. I put an eye hook in here, center it where it's balanced. Eye hook in here, and then on both ends, and that'll be where my chain is linked, so I can raise and lower this light assembly up and down, which you see on the other grow light assemblies on the um, on YouTube. But that's what I'm. That's why I want the overhang, okay? Because, like I said, uh, you you got to have some kind of overhang because there's no where you're going to mount the. I, I guess you could mount the eye hooks up in here, but I don't uh, want them mounted up in there. I wanted to mount them on the edge. So I will find a piece of plywood now. Hopefully I can find a piece over and out. Or maybe I'll have to go over to the neighbor's house and tear some wood off their uh, side of the building or something. We'll see what happened. I might be gone for a while. Okay, here's that board I was telling you about. I finally scrounged up. It's 19 by 53 for my particular setup. And I got this one mounted first with just little... Uh, they look like half inch screws. Most of the time was spent finding the board, looking for a neighbor's house that could do without the board, and um, uh, I found one. So the board is taken care of, cutting it up, but finding these little screws laying around, they're just self tapping. You can use whatever you have laying around, any kind of screws, as long as they don't go through the board. And if they do, you can always grind them off on the other side. But basically, what you want to do is, I have my two, remember I said about the two inches on the end, so I can put an eye bolt in. And then I can hang them so they, you know, they all go up and down together. Well, you want to sort of make it halfway decent, so you use a little framing square to get the next set up, the next light set up for it. That's basically what you do. And then, like I said, my space, I want mine to be 21 inches, my lights. When I measure here, here to here, I want it to be, that's perfect, 21 inches right there, 21 inches. And um, because that's what I want so I can put the seed starter trays to the right width. And then this one here I'll do last after I get these two set up, the outside set up perfectly parallel to the edge of the, the board. Um, then I'll set this one up and center this and then tack them down. I'll put two here, you know, two on each end, and then two in the center on each, you know, when the center to hold it up. Because these ain't, they don't have no huge heavy ballast, these, these lights I got. They're the, like I said, they're the low, low grade ones, but they're good enough for me for a little bit what I use of it. Even though out here where we live, um, even low grade stuff, you would got to break out, you know, the, the major credit card to buy it. But um, uh, in a big city, you guys probably get these lights for about six, eight bucks, nine bucks, whatever. But here, you know, you got to give your right arm, your left boot, and uh, the rear tires to your 68 Chevy. Anyhow, that's um, uh, the situation here. Um, now I'm going to attach these other ones down. When I get that, I'll show you what I go from there. Okay, so I mounted the camera this time, the tripod, so it wouldn't be jumping around so much. Okay, just a little tip now. When you get this set up, 
just use your little, any kind of, you can use a board or whatever straight just to line the center one up to get in parallel. This don't have to be rocket science because the plants don't give a darn if it's an eighth of an inch off. I mean, um, certain plants might grow, not grow, if you're up maybe a thirty-second of an inch off on your measurements, they might, it might affect their growth and then they decide not to grow. And then again, some of them might not grow just because you had to sell your uh, rear tires off your 68 Chevy to get some of these lights. Okay, now they're all attached. And sorry for the extreme lighting, but see here they are now. They're all attached, one setup. See, and you see all the screws I set up. Probably overkill, but I just like doing it that way. And then I vacuumed up all the chips, so there's no chips, metal chips, filings in there. Not that it's going to make a difference, but I just don't want the metal filings around. And that's that's the, that's that stage. Now this is done. Now what I do after now with this, I determine the center because see, it's going to be one eye hook on each end that's going to be dangling from that setup. And you've got to find center. If you don't find center, of course, you know it's going to be tilted. Um, the only disadvantage of this setup is that, which most of them only hang from one, one uh, eye hook, is that they'll, it'll teeter-totter, it'll wobber, wobble. But the plants ain't going to reach up and knock it around anyhow, so it really don't matter. But um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to find center, put them eye bolts in, and this part of the project will be done. I don't have all the bulbs, so I can't put the bulbs in, but I'm using T12 bulbs. They're the big ones. They're 40 watt. You're supposed to have they claim to cover the, the range as a, a soft and a warm, is that what it is? Cool, cool and warm, whatever it is. Anyhow, the one bulb is uh, 4100K Kelvin and the other bulb is 3000K. So just look for the, the bulb. You want one, one in, uh, one in uh, you want two different bulbs in each one of these. You want a 4100K and a 3000K. And that's what you want in each one of these, one of each. And that's supposed to cover a broader spectrum. Or you can go and you can pay $8 a piece or $10 a piece for grow bulbs, which is a waste of money. Um, you just the standard um, 4100 and 3000K bulbs. And I think they're the soft and the warm or the warm and the soft, whatever. But I'll, I'll get that information later. And uh, all the details, of course, will be at the end of the videotape. Okay, there you can see I got the eyelets bolt set up here, right here. This is where that, remember, this could be sitting like this. This is where the chain hangs on the top pole that lowers the uppers. These are quarter inch by two inch long um, eye bolts. And I just got them bolted through the other side and that's it. And I got them about three quarters of an inch in. And because this board's 19 inches wide, I did it nine and a half inches on center. The big disadvantage of this is unless everything's perfectly balanced, when you hang the chain from here, of course, you know it'll tilt one way or the other. But there's ways you can play with that. When I, I'll show you how later when I get it set up, how you can put weights here and there. But that's how you do it. You do it one on each end. And that, that's this one. This thing is done now. This is all done. Now I go to the tubing that supports all this. Okay, now for me, I'm using inch and a half schedule 40. Um, PVC piping. So basically, I'm having uh, 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 two legs, one um, shaft coming up, and the runner going across the top. That's what I'm doing. And this are the T's. They're inch and a half T's. And these are the Ken caps for the feet on the ends, which you will see. There's four of them. And these are the elbows like this to mount the, the, the setup, the pole setup. And by the way, when you buy these things, you want the vent, the vent T's. And the vent elbows. If you get the um, drain, if you get the drain um, parts, they they got a longer curve to them. You know, to keep stoppages. You can't have you can't use these in code by um, uh, for uh, draining waste stuff like that because the curves are too sharp and you got you get hangups and stuff. So this is only for vents. The vents don't matter. You know, I'm not going to explain all the plumbing stuff, but you look for the vent tubing. It's made for vent, not for the bait. It's in the same area. It's just, you'll see it's a sharper bend. It's a real sharp. Otherwise, if you see the same kind of 90 degree elbow on a, uh, the waist end of it, you'll see it's big and long. It's really drawn out. And if you want that, that's no big deal, but I don't want that. I want short, tight corners, so I got these. And these here, the T's, this is an illegal for uh, um, wasting, you know, draining uh, waste because the corners are too sharp. It won't work. If you see a T, or they call them a Y, um, but that will be a curve. Well, you don't want the curve because I want this mount like this and the pole coming straight up. I don't want it coming out in an angle. So you want to make sure it's imperative that you get the T's, the T's and the, and the elbows as their, their vent, the vent things. And I'm, I don't know, some people know it, some people don't. Now these are the eye hooks for the pole. The pole that goes up here, up top. I got, um, what was it, uh, quarter inch by four inch. And they'll mount through the poles, and the chain will be strung between that and the eyes I put in that board. I got two of these. 
with the nuts. Okay, that takes care of that. I would have had two more on here. Basically, this is all the parts for that, but I put them on already, so that's you'll have, you've already seen them. This is the chain. Number 16 by 10 feet. I put a 10 foot. That's about, I don't know how much it costs, but it's, I'll give all the prices later on. It's a 10 pound workload, and that's plenty for this because I know this probably weighs about 10.